this goggle. The old line is with the capped elbow, the hygroma on her elbow. And she's here with Zorro, the, the sub adult of the Zadar upright. And uh, I always thought that that they were brother and sister, but they are very affectionate towards each other. And this uh, makes me more worried about the cups, the little cups of Casper the White Line, his brothers. I mean, there was three beautiful cups and there's only two now. But at this stage, this is something that that we didn't expect. I thought they were brothers, a brother and a sister. She's obviously in the heat, and uh, oh well, some months ago she was mating. She she mated with with uh, one of Casper's brothers. I still got a video where uh, Casanova chased her down the road, and then eventually mated with her. And now here she is, Gogo, with the sub adult. Call him Zorro, because he's got a mark on his on his bum. And now that is Zorro mating with Kogo. And uh, we thought they were brothers and sister, brother and sister. That's a young sub adult of the Satara Pride. And that's Gogo. The line is with the capped elbow. The elbow I grow more. It's the impala. Impala nearly walks straight into them. Look at Gogo there, behind the tree. Pipala is standing dead still. I mean, Paul, I can see them, but he's now barking at them. Okay, here he runs. I don't think they were really hungry. You can see their tummies are very much full, otherwise they would have charged earlier. I 
his bar, he's still standing there. He's gone very far. Looking at them. But I don't think they are very much interested. Well, I must say that the so-called mating scenes that we have filmed today between Zorro, the sub adult of the Sitara Bright, and probably his sister, Gogo, the one with the capped elbow, I don't think that was for real. I think that was more a practicing. Maybe she's giving him some lessons about the birds and the bees but what I've got on on, on, on camera on video was not real mating just like showing affection but why but why are they separated separate from the pride? It's only the two. The sub adult male, Zorro, as we're gonna call him now, and uh, Gogo, the one of the cat Alba. Okay, we can hear uh, Impala bark again in the distance. And the last question I would love to ask them is Are the cups all right? Where's the third cup? Because the last time we filmed the cups Gogo was babysit sitting Gogo with the capped elbow was babysitting The good aunt And Mr. Zotto was lying with them in the road with the cups and the whole, I think all six lionesses. And now they are separate. These two are separate. On the S100, about three, three and a half kilometers east of the H1 stroke three where they normally spend their time. That's a beautiful male.
it was probably fathered by by either the old Sweeney Miles or the old Nuanetsi Miles. We don't know. He just appeared on the scene with the with the six Tynesses of the Satara Pride that is controlled now by Casper the White Line and his brothers. And they haven't evicted the sub adult from the Pride yet, which is normally normal practice when a new coalition of of males take over a pride and also the females should get rid of him because it's not good there's going to be inbreeding which we nearly saw today So we're going to keep a close eye on, on this young male, beautiful young male, and see what's in, installed for him in future, whether Gasparin Brothers is going to chase him off. Where the lioness is going to tell him to go. And we will try and see what if the cups are going to be all right. Well, I've only seen two. One is missing. I can't say the the missing cup is is dead. We don't know. But there's only two cups left since we last checked. And hopefully this the story with this sub adult and the females of the Satara Pride with the brothers Casper and his brothers will have a good ending.